What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we are talking about a Twisby. A Twisby. Nope, I thought that was going to go all the way around. Um, <laughs> so today in the years later review, we're going to be talking about the Twisby Diamond 580. Now, this one happens to be the ALR, which I've only had um, for about a year, uh, maybe a little more, a little less, somewhere around the year mark-ish. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't remember. But I have the very first Twisby I ever purchased uh, was the Diamond 580 all, just didn't have the R, uh, which basically is the same, same, just texturally a little different. Uh, and that was one of the very first pens that I purchased back in 2015, I think. <laughs> Uh, for those of you watching for quite some time on my content, you are already aware of the crazy arc that I have gone through with Twisby, where I loved it, I hated it, I hated it even more, I hated it even more than that, and now I like it. <laughs> uh, I don't love it, but I like it. I have no idea what the heck is on my desk pad. Um but I'm exceptionally picky and I still have a lot of problems with Twisby, but this is probably my favorite model that Twisby's ever done. Um, the, the AL, like the diamond AL, I don't really care to be honest between the regular AL and the ALR, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> I'll just say that, whatever. Um, this doesn't bother me, this little like textured grip section here. Sorry uh, about my nails. Uh, I had an accident and uh, it ripped off my nail and it went beyond the thing and, you know, is what it is. Um, I don't really care about that. I know some people do. Um, like, anytime I watch um, Brian Goulet's content and they talk about this pen, he always mentions that Rachel hates this. Uh, and I really have no opinion one way or the other um, between this or the the non whatever. Um, I think that this serves a purpose, especially for people with like super slippery hands uh, because this is metal. So sometimes that can be slippery for people. It never was for me. I don't have oily hands. If anything, it's on the dry side, um, but it just doesn't bother me. But I really love the build of this pen. Uh, it does feel really nice in my hand. Um, like I said, the grip section doesn't bother me. Uh, it is nice and long. It does have a flare out that stops you. Um, I've done a full review of pretty much every model that Twisby's ever made. Uh, so if you want to check that out to get like the nitty gritty details, definitely go for it. Um, but as I always say, like, I love the fact that you can fully take apart this pen. Uh, Twisby encourages that, gives you all of the material to do so, uh, which makes cleaning this pen a breeze. And that's why I like to have one in my collection, because then I can put some inks in it that I wouldn't put in other pens, uh, like any shimmery stuff and things like that, um, because I can take this apart, clean it really well. I will say that Twisby's feeds are garbage. Um, not for flow wise. Well, actually most Twisbees that I use are dry, um, which is part of the beef. Uh, this one is not, but the, their fins are just super, super brittle. So when you go to take the nib and the feed out, you got to be like insanely careful, uh, because you can bend and snap the fins. Um, that's really the biggest thing that I hate about Twisby's pens, uh, and I wish they would fix. They've fixed a lot of things, including old crack uh, problems. Um, you know, like they've, they've fixed a lot of things about their pens, but that is something that I feel like they need to invest a lot of time and money into. Um, I really like this color. This is the navy color. Uh, Twisby comes out with a billion different colors every year. Um, so if this one's not your jam, and take a look at some others and then maybe wait uh, because they come out with different colors fairly often. Um, the The pen is nothing really to look at as far as the way that it looks. It just looks like a Twisby. It is pretty known. Um, it doesn't elicit any 
warm feeling. Like it doesn't give me the warm and fuzzies to look at it. It doesn't make me mad. It just is what it is. This pen to me is a utilitarian tool. Uh, I don't use it because I love it. I don't use it because it makes me feel happy. I just use it because it's a tool. Um, I use it for inks, like I said, like shimmering stuff that I don't typically use in any other pen. Um, and I will use it when I travel uh, because it's built like a brick house <laughs> um, and it, it's got it's got some seriously good build quality uh, other than the flip and fins. Uh, and it does hold a pretty large amount of ink. Um, so I don't have to worry about like refilling it or anything like that. Um, but that really is the purpose of this pen for me, uh, is just a utilitarian tool. Uh, it does have a steel fine nib. It's pretty darn stiff. Um, so nothing, nothing about it. When I did my review of the, um, Pilot Custom 823, then you know that I spent a good deal talking about the way that this pen makes me feel and and I can't explain it but it just makes me feel like it gives me the warm and fuzzies it makes me feel amazing it puts me in a happy content mood when I hold it when I use it this does none of that to me like I said this is just purely a utilitarian tool um now that said that absolutely serves a purpose like at the end of the day, a pen is just that. It is just a utilitarian tool. Uh, I'm going to dip it into Pilot Hiroshizuku Sukiyo. Um, so it, that's not a knock against it. Um, it just, you know, is what it is. <laughs> uh, so let's do a dip, shall we? Did I dip it far enough? Oh yeah. I don't know what happened <laughs> to my Z there. It just, I had like a, a, one of these things happen. <laughs> um, so this is the fine nib. And then again, uh, Pilot Hiroshizuku Sukiyo. I love this ink, it's dynamite. Um, Twisby's nibs are very, very stiff. You can squeak it a little. Uh, but in your actual writing, it's a pretty stiff experience. Uh, this nib happens to be one of the best ones that I've ever had, uh, which is why I've kept this one particular in my collection. And I probably will for a very long time. Like I said, I need a pen in my collection that is just a tool. Um, I have a lot of pens that are special in one way or the other that makes me feel really, really happy and good. Um, but I wouldn't want to have with me in all scenarios you know what I mean so sometimes you just need to have that uh, that tool that that pen that it's not that you don't care about it that's that's not at all what I'm saying it's just it's it's a pen to be a pen <laughs> um, and and I'm glad that this one is that uh, now of course I did dip this pen so it, it's gonna appear to be more wet than it actually is. Um, reverse writing feels like absolute garbage. It is scratchy as all heck, but regular writing is pretty darn smooth. Um, but I have had some wildly inconsistent uh, things happen with Twisby. So, I mean, I've probably used a dozen different models uh, of varying nib sizes and I mean this one's really the best that it, they've they've given <laughs> um, typically they're on the drier side I really like this fine nib this is a true fine nib in my opinion it's probably in between a Japanese fine and a western fine um, but this nib writes really well for me. There is some feedback. It feels slightly smoother than like a number two, like a sharpened number two pencil. 
a little bit smoother than that but this is the general vibes that it does give me of course it also depends on how much ink you have um flowing out of here because obviously the more ink you have the the nicer it will feel <laughs> um but i highly recommend putting a iro shizuku ink into it uh, because while they're not lubricated these inks i don't believe they are generally pretty uh pretty wet inks uh well behaved you can clean them out really nicely uh, i can't recommend these ones enough my favorites are sukiyo shinkai uh, Kanpeki and Yamabuto and uh, Sakushi, if you can find it. Um, that's their brown. They have stopped making it, but a lot of retailers stocked up before Pilot stopped making it. So you'll probably still be able to find it at some retailers. Um, this one has never had any hard starts or skipping. Um, I have experienced that on other Twisby models, um, especially with the shimmery Robert Oster inks. Those ones. <sighs> are troublesome inks uh, more so than like dye mine or anything else like that. I think it's because the particulates are like just, I don't know, there's so many of them that it does clog up the feeds to me with Twisby pens. Um, but I've used like dye mine shimmers, uh, Gerbon shimmers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's been fine in these pens. It's just the Robert Oster ones that I do have some problems with. Um, but yeah, so overall thoughts years later on Twisby is it's a good tool like I said nothing blows me away I'm not mad at them anymore <laughs> um, it just it's the middle of the road for me it's just a pen it's just something to get the job done uh, I yeah <laughs> that's that that's what it is to me um, that said like I said I'll, I'll probably always have it um, because you do need a tool here and there um, but uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. Um, I think everybody should try a Twisby um, because there are people who look at it and see more than just a utilitarian tool. Uh, so definitely well worth picking up if you haven't yet already. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts about the Twisby Diamond 580? It doesn't have to be the ALR version, could just be like the regular, the AL, anything like that. Uh, let me know what you think uh, so that others can see more than just my opinion. Um, because yeah, uh, some people love them. <laughs> some people hate them like I used to. Now I'm just sort of indifferent about them. Um, but those are my thoughts and uh, thank you for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe <laughs> to see new videos every Monday and Friday and the occasional on Tuesday. Uh, do check out the Patreon link in the description down below if you want to help support me and what I do here. And as always, if you're still watching 13 minutes in, you, my friend, are the reason that I make these videos. All right. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, all right, all right, all right. Today it is time to say thank you to all of my Patreons. I am so grateful for you. Today is, is July 3rd, so if you do not see or hear your name, uh, just be patient. I update it as soon as I can. So for our ultimate human, we've got Daniel Roddy. And then for my VIPs, we have Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Weile Chang, Brian Law, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcourt, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bill Pemberton, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Subi One Kenobi, Bianca Andrews, and Digital Tent Tech. And lastly, but not least, McCall Bennett Lawrence. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, no matter the tier you're in, uh, whether it's bottom or top, does not matter. You all make what I do here possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you.